already. Well, we're looking for our spot, but it's, it's, um, it's busy. It's busy. Busy, 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 busy. So this crikey, look at them all. Because it's yeah, free. still grass though. Yeah, we can pick, just keep looking. Don't, don't. Well, I was thinking out. this one, we come back to this one. You're lucky that we'll probably drive through here again, so we can get to So this is the Babinda town. Babinda State Hotel. Mamu. There's Mamu as well. Picture theater. Cool spot cafe. They're not busy as the other one. Oh, there's still people here. Ten dollar brekkie special. That one there. One we'll get that one straight away. It's got a table. It's got room for our tent. Yep. That'll do us. Water over there. Uh, I'm cooking chicken adobo. Yum, yum, yum. It's Filipino's favorite food. I mean, it's wet in here. <laughs> And a lot of campers here are gone and there are only a few left and I'll show you. So there is a new one there but look at it's almost empty now it's not many because yesterday and the other day when we were here it, it was all it's full. But in the afternoon and by night this will be up by we fall again. Look at the sky. Expecting more rain. Packing up when it's raining is not fun and because everything is wet and and there are also a lot of mosses. Well, here. not quite everything wet, darling. Oh, not everything, but the uh, the the tent is dry because we put the gazebo over it, mm -hmm. and more importantly, all the tent bedding is dry. So none of that gets wet. Oh, a lot of mosquitoes. Actually, it works really well, doesn't it, sweetie? Yeah. And the gazebo up, and putting the tent inside that, and then we don't worry about any of the other things with the tent which yeah. means that once the bedding's removed that you show on the bedding I'm scratching your arm there you go so all that bedding we've just got to roll that up take this out and the tent drops in seconds yeah so that's really good and that means that the tent and where we sleep stays dry and then it's just all the other stuff so it just means that wherever we get to we've got to make sure we take it out and make sure it gets dry Mm. So the other problem 
and we're going to move it from here today. We were going to go close by, but we think it's still going to be wet because it's only a couple of kilometres that way. This. This is the trailer battery is now at 68%, 81 amp hours, it should be 120. So we've used two thirds of our usable. This can go down to about 60 amp hours because you shouldn't go with an AGM battery, you shouldn't bring them in, let them go any more than half their capacity. So I can go to 50%, which means I've got 18% left, um, which will probably do us. That'll easy do us a night or two or three with the lights, but it means we can't run any electrical stuff off it, uh, which is a bit of a hassle when you're trying to do backing up video files and all of that sort of thing. So, and the car is down currently at 80%, but that's because I ran the car for about an hour or more yesterday. So the biggest problem with rain and cloud is you've got to watch your levels. So we're probably going to have to go to a caravan park and charge up put the battery charger on the batteries and the the car one will charge fully on our trip so we'll start heading north to Cairns but this one needs sun so I'm gonna have to put a battery charger on it when we get to where we're going we're leaving the boulders camping could I take a shot of our setup there uh, maybe no, I so. it's not a good because it's been raining since yesterday. Yeah. 